Hi guys, welcome to the Tap House. Tap House. Hi guys, welcome to Tap House, where we, where we rate beers and you rate us. I'm your host, E, and today we got Ross. So guys? I mean, you can see, I was like, <laughs> all right, so today's beer that we have on tap is the Mountain Fork, um, sorry, what is it called? The Hutch yeah. Mountain Fork Brewery Company, and it, the beer is called Sneaky Snake. It's a Belgian-style golden ale, and it's 8.9 alcohol by Valium. So let's go ahead and give this uh, this beer a try. Here's your beer. Oh, it's cold. It's real cold. <laughs> Different setup because this is the 100th episode. So I'm ex I'm excited for the today's episode because we have uh, two more beers to try. So it's established in 2015. Our goal is to produce easy drinking creatively, craft your beer with your mind. Uh, what else do they have on here? It's in Oklahoma, right? That's what it said? Yeah, it's in Oklahoma. It's from uh, Hutchtown. 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 Well, I don't know exactly. It doesn't have anything else on the on the on the box. So let's go ahead and just open the beers and try them out. Cheers. Cheers. Dun, dun. All right. So let's see here. I got my cup. There we go. Woo. I'm excited. I, I haven't I haven't drank all day today, so I need it. So here's a pour for the listeners. We gotta be careful with that. There we go. Oh my god, I should have moved the focus right. It looks good. It has a good head going on. It's very golden, yellow golden. I hope it slows down. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh man, you about to break my computer and everything. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> that looks that's that a fat looks head beautiful right there you see that head right there that's a beautiful head for the listeners the head is there and also it's very golden uh, very very golden that's what I like to say so you should probably move that out the way you got it yeah. all right here speak on the mic buddy speak on the mic here we go <laughs> that's good is it <laughs> mm. so the smell just tastes like any average beer um, it smells like uh, just a regular beer, but the, the taste, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, uh, Ross's, Ross's wife. Oh, what did I tell you about the, the, the puppies? Ross's wife. Separate them. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> hey, it's a pretty, it's a malty, very malty. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Oh man, that's really, it has some weird flavor inside that I can't really get to it. I don't know what it's specifically it is. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What kind of? I don't think it tells you exactly what it is. A little bit left. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Government warning. I don't think it's, uh, I think it has some maltiness and a little bit of hops because I don't taste as much. Uh, it is, like I said, Belgian style golden ale. So it, if anything, it's more refreshing than it. And then, it's more refreshing than in general. Um, it's not strong, but for an 8.9 alcohol, it feels like it's it's very chill and mild. Usually, 8.9 alcohol, you could hit, it, you could get a big hit. This one doesn't seem that way. It's all calm. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. So. Uh, here, speak close to the mic every time. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, like but it. it's pretty. Um, he's he's been uh he's been absent for the past 45 episodes, so yeah, or more. So every time you speak, speak into the mic, buddy. I'm just. There you go. Focus it where you gotta focus it. Right, right there. Yeah, every time oh, you speak, man. speak right into it. I apologize if I'm being a dick to him. For people out there, me think, oh, this is fucking strong. Mm. For, oh my god. Mm. The more I drink it, the more I can taste <laughs> the flavors. <laughs> right. It's like a sneaky uh, hitter. Shit. But I think this one. Um, I mean, yeah, sneaky snake, sneaky hitter. That, yeah, 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 right. yeah that, that makes a lot of sense. I, mean, I don't know if they y'all intended it that way, but it's, it feels like that's how it is, and slowly sneaks up into you. You know, you think it's because we ate pizza? We're kind of like, kind of the, the the taste or everything is kind of off. Something I don't know, but I like it. It's uh, it's pretty. It's pretty chill. It's pretty it's chill. Pretty chill for. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say a yay to mine. And what I, about you? I gotta say yay. A it's yay. Pretty nice beer. Well, that's the first beer we're gonna rate today. So, you wanna finish these real quick and then get another beer, or you wanna just move on to the next one? Mm. Mm. I could probably move on to the next one. 
Oh fuck. <laughs> Uh, it sneaks in. <laughs> yeah, it's at the beginning. You can't even taste the the hits until like the very end. After I, I think because we got the, we got the head where it's like less of alcohol, mm-hmm. and then once you're going to the bottom, the midway, I think you're starting to feel all those flavors and yeah. it just bursts out. It's free. The it's head crazy. You get to the head, it's all nice and calm. Yeah, you start going and to the you, bottom, and then go to the bottom <laughs> where you where you hit the bottom. It starts going deep and hard. Because That's what she yeah. said. Exactly. That's what she <laughs> said. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ross's wife, uh, can you please come? We have a bartender here. Uh, bartender. So, Ross's wife, can you please go ahead and uh, put these beers back in the fridge? Yeah, that's right put there. Put these beers back in the fridge, Joe. Get them in the fridge first. There we go. All right. So, we have an assistant. It feels pretty good. I don't have to get up anymore. So, we're going to try on the next ones. These, let's put these here in the middle so they can see what we drank. I guess in this these, end, right? I would buy alcohol. So, these I are a yay. To the store and- bite that's it's pretty good i would too here so these are not shiners i just used a box for it to carry it so the next one's gonna be which one do you want to try you want to try the uh uh the red the red cap or the black cap oh man uh let's try the black cap first all right so we're gonna go ahead and go to the black cap here's yours so this one's rasputin rasputin this is from the North Coast Brewing Company, independent since 1988. Uh, the beer is called Old Rasputin Russian Imperial Stout. So this one's going to be very, very dark. I hope that that's the case. Brewed in the, brewed in the tradition of the 18th century English brewers who supplied the Russian court of Catherine and the Great. Um, Old Rasputin develops a cult following wherever it goes. It's a rich, intense brew with a big complex flavor and a warming finish. So the alcohol by volume, it's 9%. So it's literally uh, 1% higher than this one. So it's, it's, it's pretty strong and it's not like a twist up, I already know. So uh, a b- <laughs> bartender, can I give me a, 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 a butt opener? It's, it's a can opener, basically, how you unscrew it. It's, just, it's a real chill episode, guys. Today's gonna be a real chill episode again. It's a 100 episode. Um, sorry, Ross, I feel like I'm not letting you talk. Oh, that's fine. Uh, We'll talk later. <laughs> We're gonna talk. Well, real quick, the topic in hand is gonna be the Xbox uh, showcase, showcase, game showcase. game showcase, and our opinions about what's going on and what the future of the Xbox is, and what your opinions of what the games were are the good games, or aren't the good games, and if what your thoughts about the PS5, and if they have all that shit stuck together. Exactly. Hmm. I wonder, did uh, Nintendo? Yeah, that one. Showcases. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I didn't look that up. Man, I think the Belgian taste is a little better now after it's a little warmer. All right, so we're going to go ahead, guys, and go to the next episode. Sorry, <laughs> next beer. <laughs> and this is going to be the uh, Rasputin. So right. we don't even have a cup of shit. Well, I guess we can use that one right there. This one? Yeah. And once we finish this one, we can pour the other one in. All right, so here's yours. So let me open it for you. I got you, buddy. I got you. What are you thinking? How do you think this is going to taste like? Man, I like dark beers. Yeah, I, I like dark beers. I'm sorry about this, but in front of the mic. <laughs> oh shit! You know, I keep on forgetting. <laughs> right, right there. Yeah, but I like dog beers. They're they're, you're, they're you're, more my style. Dark beers? Yeah. I think I think they're starting to become my style, but I'm not too sure. There, it's always a hit and miss with dark beers because they could be too strong sometimes. At times. All right, so grab your cup over there, and I grab my cup, and let's go ahead and pour this Imperial style some booze. Good. All right, let me pour it. Ooh. Mm. It's dark. It's very dark. That looks nice. There's a little tiny head on top. Very tiny. But it still has a head nonetheless. Looks very bubbly. Oh man, this one this one seems like it has more flavor. What is that? Ooh, that smells like like hazel, nutty. Yeah. Chocolatey? Hmm. Mm. Coffee. Yeah, in a, in a way, it reminds me. Yes, of coffee. it does remind you of coffee, with some cream in it. Coffee and cream, hazelnut cream. Yes, exactly. Well, okay. Well, let's go ahead and give this one a taste too. Mm. Double cheers. Oh man, I'm scared because I have the flavor <laughs> of the Belgian beer, you know, and I, I should got you should got water to kind of cleanse it. Cool. Mm. Nah, that's fine. Yeah. Let's do this shit. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh man, what do wow. you? That's a lot of flavors. That's a lot of flavors. It's smooth. It's very, very smooth. smooth. Jesus, feels like I'm 
drinking a nice that cold doesn't, coffee. Right? It doesn't taste like alcohol. Doesn't. No. It's, it has this weird... I'm going to be up all night because of oh this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. I like this one. Holy shit. That's not bad at all. I mean, I was expecting very bitter, kind of strong tints of taste. It's kind of bitter, but uh, like it's like... It's... It, it's not like where it hits you off the bat. It's it's like it comes at you slowly. Yes, yeah, the, the it lets you. But then it lets you relax. You you move your tongue around in your mouth, mm. and mm. you taste mm. coffee. You taste those notes, coffee. Yeah, you're right. Mm. My God, this is really good. Well, let me see. Let me go back to the Belgium. Let me see if it makes any difference. Oh Jesus! Let me try it. I ain't gonna go back. <laughs> it gets oh, okay. Kind of probably yeah. The Belgium, yeah, the Belgium goes a little light. I don't want to waste these beers though. I don't want to waste no beers, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to either not see the flavor, the color of this one, or we could, we could tell the bartender to pour out these beers. Well, this one, not not the not the recipe. The Again, they're both very good. Dude, they're both very good. Yeah. The recipe, I'm gonna keep drinking it. Yeah. I mean, I fuck. I wish you didn't probably ate the pizzas yeah. beforehand because uh, I, I feel a little bloated. That. I was thinking that myself. But those pizzas were pretty good. They were fresh. Yeah, <laughs> I was having a headache before we got on the podcast, so I really yeah. needed those pizzas. I didn't eat all day. That was like literally like Same. the first time I ate. Let's go again, Mike. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, I guess you get used to it once you start talking in it. Yeah, like exactly. You start as long as you can that one spot. And if you do feel like you just go back, you could always bring it towards yourself. Like every time you went back, like just you know do what you got to do. But that's that's it, it, like I said, it's a, it's a you haven't been here long, so it's been a while for you. Oh yeah, it's oh. Good. like this one too. It's freaking so good, dude. So We're gonna, good. you know what? We're gonna rate from one to three, which is a better beer. All right. So right now, you think number one is Rasputin, right? Right now, yeah. Right, right. now, Rasputin's number one. All right. Yes. God, that was so good. I apologize for this, but uh, bartender, can you drop these beers out and rinse the cups, please? We're gonna go to the next one, and these again. We have plenty of these. We have plenty of the of the uh, sneaky snake. I have a six pack, so if anything, so it's, it's we're not wasting it. We're, you, I guess we are kind of wasting it. Them out and wash them. Yeah, just can you please drain them out and wash yeah, them? Rinse them. Just, you know. Rinse them out, yes, please. Ooh, I need a burp real quick. <clears throat> Old Rasputin. My I don't. I don't know how long the video is gonna record because for some reason my I have full memory on my phone, so we're gonna hopefully have all of this. Be review on just the video and whatever it records afterwards. Yeah, that's the case because I love I love the scenery here. I actually kind of like this more than the actual inside my room. So feel at home. Yeah, because <laughs> it feels like actual bar. And exactly. uh, I don't know how it's gonna look, but I, I, I'm enjoying this scenery. And uh, yeah, I was actually gonna tell us to do a shot before we did the podcast, but I don't think sure. we can do that right no. now. No, no, we're good. No. We wouldn't play some games afterwards. <laughs> exactly. But my God, that oh. coffee, dude. That's a really fucking good beer. <laughs> it's honestly a really good beer. Well, hold up. Let me just say this. This beer is going to be a yay for both of us, right? Is that correct? Yeah, it's a yay. It's totally. It's some... Gosh. Again, Rasputin mm. is the other one. So, put that here in the side. You know? There. <sighs> Love it. All right. Love let's it. go ahead and get the other one before it gets hot. Yeah. Uh, here we go. All right. Let's do this shit. Third beer of the night. For the hundredth episode of the podcast Top House, barrel aged in and gun the original. Yes, Scotch and whiskey L. <laughs> I totally okay. Here's it back. It doesn't say the oh six point six alcohol by volume. So the original is our flagship beer, the ones that started it all. Our unique Scotch, Scotch whiskey barrel aging process unlocks flavor like vanilla and toffee, which combine with the multi character of golden ale to create an incredible text experience. We spent more than a decade perfecting our craft. Find out more at the Inisian, in this and gun.com. Wow, that was forever. Um, so this is 6.6 alcohol by volume. So this is a toffee and uh, also mixed with golden ale, which is kind of like this Belgian golden ale. So this is kind of mixed with, like, it, basically this Inis and gun is Rasputin and mine for, for sneaky ale mixed together. So that's going to be very interesting. Let's, uh, oh, let me see if it's a twist top. Do you have you checked no, that? Uh, yeah, check oh, it. damn. It's, it's not a... There's not even... I don't think there's big twist tops as much as anymore. Or for like the craft beers. 
Let me see. You gotta work for that beer. Yeah, <laughs> here you go. Oh, here you go. Yeah. These are cold as hell. I had I had them in the freezer, so it's pretty they're pretty lit. They're freaking cold. <laughs> Alright, there you go. So Oh man, I don't, I, let me try this real quick before I go back to the other one. Go quick, try. Mm. I'm already buzzing. I ain't gonna lie. It was right at the beginning of the episode. Man, <laughs> right? It's fucking good. You just good. can't get over it. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, this one. These cups, they isolate, they insulate the the beer, so it won't get us hot. Oh really? So we could we could leave it there for a while and it'll be fine. Damn. All right, let's try this one out. Let's go. Uh, cheers. Cheers. It's much lighter. Yeah, I guess because it's golden ale, so it's more lighter. But you can kind of get the hints of the toffee and the whiskey, the color of the whiskey that's in there. Here goes for the audience. It looks very uh, dark brown color. A little bit hint, hint of golden. But it's a nice, also, small head on top, but it's enough where you could taste it. The smell, it's not as, it's not as interesting, but... Hmm. What kind of smell I would like to smell? I prefer this smell. Yeah, this <laughs> smell is way better. Yeah, this one kind of it has an odd smell to it. It's not very like satisfying smell, but who knows? Maybe the taste is going to be better. I hope so. So let's put that one here real quick so we can show those beers. Man, that's a nice beer it's a bunch. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and um. Uh, I, I kind of don't want to taste it just because <laughs> I'm really liking the the recipe and and I had my iron recipe for a long time. This is uh, I've been I was like fuck it, let's try it. Really? All right. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Innocent guns. What the fuck? Jesus. Ah, uh, what? Uh, oh man, I made my. I could taste the toffee. I could really taste the toffee, and the vanilla is sticking out hard. It's a very. This one has. This one out of all of them, has more flavors, like more sweet flavors. Yeah. For sure. Um. It's not as strong. I think it's the same as the amount as the uh, the sneaky snake feels more stronger than this one, but it's more flavorful than all three of them. Now, mm. I prefer Rasputin. Like, I do too. The the, the flavor of Rasputin. I prefer uh, this it, one is a this one hurt a little bit. I like it. I mean, it's not bad. I think, but it's overshadowed by. Rasputin. Yeah, Rasputin. I, I I'm gonna say this much. For me, it's a it's a good taste, but I guess maybe because we drank so many, it's not really sitting well with me. But it's good enough where I would want to try it again. So for me, it's gonna be a ma. Yeah. How about yourself? I, I gotta say it's it's a ma, you know, since uh, we drank Rasputin, and I think Rasputin is overshadowing everything. All of them. So, <laughs> I mean, out of all three of them, Rasputin is the go-to beer out of all of them oh yeah and i would say what second one you would wanna, be this is more of a shield one yes you drink this to chill this one oh god this is it's just so good you have some <laughs> you're gonna have some great conversations with what we're gonna have next so mm -hmm. i don't want to drink this anymore but i'm gonna have to finish it after i finish this one over here but i'm gonna go back to put this up here i'm gonna go back to your recipe in real quick and put this up here you're right this does take this does stay kind of cool yeah, so oh, Jesus. I'm just going to say out there, guys, so uh, I know this has been kind of a little bit chill, the review, but kind of want to keep it that way. Uh, so for the, just to summarize, yay to the middle, yay, sorry, yay to the Sneaky Snake, yay to the uh, old recipe, and, and then Emma to the Ennis and Gun. Now, we'll try this again by itself. Yes. Probably we'll, because it's getting like overshadowed by all of them. Yeah. So I'm gonna go Probably ahead and buy itself. Well, so yeah, that's been the beer review for. We just tapped them beers, so yeah. Stay tuned for the uh, conversation that's coming up ahead. Alrighty. Oh God, man. All right, so you can chill. Yeah. Jesus. It's all good now. It's all. It's damn man. My it's so, is like if I'm drinking coffee, man. Right. It's like. Hmm. You don't want to drink it all the way. It's so smooth. That's what's crazy. It's so, you wanna, so smooth. You want to savor it. Mm -hmm. I've, 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 it's, it doesn't even taste alcohol to me, if I'm being honest. It doesn't. It doesn't. But my God, it's good. I, I, li I like dark beer. Dude, you know, this is... This is my kind of beer. I, I have drunk multiple dark beers, and this one 
by far. And um, because like I said, you know, there's beers that you look, you look, you buy, and then the the bottle looks cool and everything sticks out. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess if you look at the old recipe, you look at it and be like, oh yeah, that looks like a good beer. You know what I mean? Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a fucking mean beer. Like it looks at you and you're like intimidated. Trying, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason why I, uh, the first time I the only reason why I thought about old Rasputin was because of Destiny. Yeah. Now it's Rasputin. You know. So I was like, yeah, I kind of want to get it just because of that. But he's a cultist, right? I think yeah. the the well, he's a philo- isn't he? He's like a. He was a. He he was like a how was that word? Um, he he predicted stuff or something like that. I don't know if that was him. Um, no, I think it's not Rasputin to predict this stuff. It was um. God, what's his name? This happens all the fucking time. Where we do, we ha- it's a uh, Nostradamus, right? Nostradamus. Nostradamus is the one that predicted stuff, but I know Rasputin kind of had also foreshadowing, right? Or he's he, more of a cultist. Yeah, he, he had like a cult, I think, if mm-hmm. I can remember correctly. If, if we're correct, if we get it wrong, we're sorry. <laughs> you know? We're not. We're not. We're not. This. We're not. Those, we're not those people that know everything. We're at. Which even research a little bit <laughs> we heard names, we just, the names we just drink you know? beer and fucking and just have conversations exactly <laughs> yeah so don't don't quote us on anything and don't anything that we say about our opinions that's just our opinions we don't want to ju- we don't want to skew your opinions you no. be you you know you, you don't know? like you don't like us that's cool that's fine by us yeah we couldn't give a shit <laughs> give two shits so. <laughs> exactly so. but yeah it's normally i buy beers that kind of catch my attention that one caught my attention by the name, but if I didn't know about the name, I wouldn't even care about it. But I like the beers that don't have a lot of fashion to it and surprise me. That's that's yeah. what gets me. Like, exactly. Most of the ones that are all colorful, they're not so good. It's just <laughs> aesthetics that look good. Yeah, the aesthetics look good. It's like a game, right? Like, if you buy a game, if you never looked into it, right, like in the past, like whenever I used to buy Super Nintendo games were random at, at, at a Star Video. Yeah, exactly. Old school, uh, before Blockbuster, uh, Star Video. What we used to do is look. I le- I used to look at the, the front of the cover, and if, if there's a lot of stuff happening, and automatically you like it. You're like hell yeah, I want to play that game. That looks cool as shit. I and still he, have my Nintendo 64. I still have mine too. Like, well, I mean, my mom has it. I got the, uh, the, uh, uh, Mario games that comes with a, large amount of Mario games. I don't know how many games. There uh, are, I don't know which like, one. I think I know what you're talking about because I have. Nintendo 64 with 007 Golden Eye. Oh, 007. Golden I just don't have the controllers or the little box in the back where you connect the system One so you can turn on. Has all of that. Like he has the Nintendos. Uh, he has all the games and their boxes. Still good. Damn. I mean, he, uh, being that person that makes them, that keeps them that very well, you know, like, it's like he like refurbished. Like it's like exactly like. It's, you must it, it takes a lot i mean i i'm a type of person that fucks a lot of shit up <laughs> literally like all my games and like like they're all ripped up or they're all i'm the kind of guy that would just if something let's say like i bought an xbox right and i actually moved towards the next one towards the next one like i had the original xbox then i went and bought the xbox 360 and couldn't give a fuck about the other one you know what i never had the xbox 360 I, it was I good. skipped that one and I went to the PS3. Yeah, I mean, it had flaws. Because the only reason why is the because... The Red Ring of Death. Oh, well, not just because of that, but it's because the PS3 was free internet at the time. Oh, uh, yes. And Xbox 360, you had to pay for services for yes. it to play online. Exactly. But then the... No, what, what was it? The PS3, um, right? The, That's when the 360 was going up against? Yeah, the PS3 yeah. and the 360. The 360 won that, that I mean, Yeah, war. because of the price. I mean... The PlayStation was asking for five hundred dollars. Did for they? It. Yeah, they, when they PS3 came out, they're like five hundred dollars, and everyone's like, "No, Xbox seems pretty cheap." And but then I mean, it looks the graphics were better. They were probably the same, weren't they? The, the graphics were the same. Yeah, but because uh, PlayStation were trying the new Blu-ray stuff, so no one knew how to fuck. No, no, no company or developers knew how to play with that. Yet. Well, yeah, well, that one thing, even the, even the movies too. Like the reason why I bought the PS3 was also because I convinced my my dad to buy a PS3 just because it would co watch Blu-ray DVDs on them. Because I know yeah. at the time 360 only had HD DVDs, HD, right? Yeah, they had a. And I was like, I don't want that shit. 
the, I want the Blu-ray. They, they try to do ultraviolet, and that just that just went down. Like you don't hear about that anymore. Like mm. they just put it under the rug. Like yeah, I think it's done. Ultraviolet. I think the whole concept of it is like they. I think they killed it off this year. I think or last year. Yeah, I mean it's because Blu-ray actually works better. Ultraviolet was like the competition for Blu-ray. But it just didn't work out. I think they still have services when it comes to um, HD. I mean, I think everything is HD when you download it on like on Amazon Prime, where if you buy it somewhere specifically, like uh, digital content, I think it's yeah. Blu-ray. I'm mean, sorry, HD. I think it costs way more than it's Blu-ray, but I yeah. don't know how it works specifically. Uh, but no one cares about it that much. <laughs> I'll get that beer, but uh. <laughs> but uh, now, like one thing that I didn't like about the Xbox One. What is uh, it? Like, it's that they promised so much and didn't keep it. You think so? I feel like... Okay, so they... We got the best games. We have a lot of games. They've been canceling uh, the good titles. Which ones have they canceled? Like, okay, so... speak. Scalebound, that was the one that everyone wanted to, like, you know, play. And they had demos and they, like everything looked nice. And then they just come out a year later. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, yeah, they we're canceling Scalebound. I forgot because is that me? Oh yeah, I was yeah. wondering. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is the noise? Because uh, the only reason why I liked the Xbox One was because of uh, Halo and Gears, right? And because I before on Halo on the Xbox, the regular original one, I used to always play Need for Speed and, and all, all, all the other stuff. Um, yeah, Underground too, but. I really like the UI system on the Xbox. Like oh. it was very easy to follow though. In the yeah, PS3, it, it felt difficult at times and how to like even set up your system and stuff like that. And uh, I think also because I, I I like the Connect. For me, Xbox because that was Xbox One, right? Or the, that was Xbox. The Connect uh, started with the Xbox 360, and then they you know that was still the Xbox some work One, for right? It for the Xbox One. With the whole bulky one, that was still Xbox One, right? And then there was yeah. a slimmer one. Damn, that's been a long time. Okay? I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was shorter. I don't, I don't think they did a slimmer one because they, they just I mean, totally uh, gave up. From the block, block, the black box, they went into the, the slimmer one and it took away the... Well, is it, is, it, is it two different consoles? Okay, so we got the Xbox One, right? Yes, and the Xbox One S. And then the Xbox One S. And then the Xbox... And then the Xbox X. X. The Xbox One X. Series X. Yeah, Series X. So, uh, but but the Xbox no, wait, One. No, there's a X because I have the X. Okay. Yeah, so there's a Xbox One. The X is a digital Xbox one. Xbox One S and Xbox One X, and then now they're doing the Xbox Series one, X. Yeah, or Xbox Series X. Because the Xbox One, the one that had the original black thick one. Yeah. Uh, it came with the what came with the Connect, and with the Connect, I used to love it because I would lay down. Let's go like that. It's the next episode of Netflix. You yeah, know? Uh, that, that was it, pretty boop. cool. You know, I would use cool. it like, hey, Xbox, turn on. But hey, Xbox, turn on. You they know? automatically, you know, they gave up on it. I thought that was great. I mean, it, you know what? Was the, cool. Kick, take away. Well, even the, the, the camera, like for, for streaming, it looked good, you know? Yeah. And, it, and the infrared part, I used, to, like, I used to love playing with it, like to make videos, you know? Yeah. It was fun to play with it, to make like little stupid videos, you know? I think that part was fun. But if they could find a way to connect if they could find a way to put the Xbox One and have a, a voice command uh, in the system where you could say Xbox turn off or Xbox turn on, you know, or even yeah. say, hey, hey, Xbox, can you go to the game or hey, can you play this? And it plays it for you. I think that'd be a great add on. It did do that. The, the, it did, yeah. Like Xbox turn on, Xbox, uh, play, hey, play Halo. Yeah. And it would start it up for you. But I want that in like the that. system on the newer one. Without yeah. having the Xbox Connect, you could just have it embedded into the system. Where you could just say exactly. it. Or even, even that, like, even one thing that got people well, I, uncomfortable I take that was back. the camera. That's true. But I take that back, though. Never mind. You can say it on your your headphones and it does it, yeah. right? Yeah. What, Cortana? You just have to get it set up and stuff like that. Never mind, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but the, I think the thing that turned people off was the camera. Yeah. It kept on looking at, looking at you. Yeah. Literally, Literally. The white light. I took the thing off. You know, I yeah. disconnected it and I'm looking at it. And the camera's following you. It's cool, right? It's <laughs> creepy. It's cool, but creepy at the same time. It is a little creepy. And then, like, I mean, that's just weird. <laughs> it is weird. It gets it is you weird. a feeling of being watched. But, uh, no, yeah. I didn't care much, you know, but seeing that, you know, there's hackers out there that can do creepy stuff, you know? Yeah, I can like, see that. that. That would turn people off from it. It was cool. It was a good concept. They gave up on it a little too early. I say they should have worked on it more. 
you know but i mean it's I mean, it's a uh, decision. I mean, people. If 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 there's not that many people wanting it, then why keep why keep messing with it, you know? But the new console, Xbox One Series X. How excited are you on that one? Like, tell me generally. Like, if you looked at the PS Five, right? And you looked at the Xbox Series X. The PS Five looks more appealing. It, it looks, looks. It looks nice. I, I, I like I, it. Okay, so I'm. I was in the. People making fun of it, right? But I thought it was unique like i feel bad for the digital designers or i feel bad for the designers who do that because uh, for the uh playstation or for the and, any and any general like even the xbox you know so it, like, people call it a fridge and shit like or, or trash yeah or anything right yeah. but i think that the concept of the designs is like either the, for the ps5 makes sense it wants to make it look sleek and futuristic exactly. I, I get that and then and, and, and that kind of brings off that awe and then the xbox they want to compact where they could fit everything inside it, but still have the hardware in there where it exactly. makes sense, you know? But they also want it to stay cool. Yes, constantly. and then they isolate. And, like, they want it yeah. to, you know, they, they they want to, so where you don't have to, um, you could make it sit anywhere and stand anywhere. Because if you look at the PS5, you had to have a little stand on it to in order for it to, to stand up, you know? Yeah, it was You could lay cool. it to the side. But, like, for me, I think the concept of both of them are very cool. I think they're, they're all, different. They're, yeah, they're different, which makes it, you know, you, you could have both. You know what I mean? If you have the money, I don't know how much they're gonna cost. They still <laughs> don't want us. They don't want to say, which is crazy. Yeah. Usually, it's like, they, dude, you, you, it's not you that far from. You kind of want to tell them how much you want. You want to tell people how much it costs so they can at least start saving money. Mm-hmm. They're not just gonna like automatically. Oh yeah, by the way, like. Be fucked a up. week or a month after it'd be fucked up if they're like or before they sell it they're mm-hmm. like oh yeah it costs this much it's like well you could have told me months ago that's true and you'd be, it'd be fucked up if uh, you know how supposedly we might have a stimulus check again what if they say you what if they tell us after we get our stimulus check here's the money and they're like oh I bet you're tricking us motherfucker you're, you're making <laughs> us waste our stimulus uh, check on the Xbox well, one thing I think uh, Xbox they're waiting for PlayStation I think they're both waiting for each how other much it costs my my personal opinion is that the Xbox is going to be cheaper than the PS5. I say it should. It should. It, I think that's what's I mean, they, that's what messed it up to begin with. That's mm-hmm. why Xbox lost. Well, last I mean, generation. I think we lost because we also didn't have a lot of exclusives. People want exclusives, which is crazy. Yeah, I don't give one a crap. Thing I, like, I mean, yeah, the exclusives help because it's the reason you want to buy the game. I mean, mm-hmm. or that. Well, the console. console. Yeah. We got. Uh, Halo 5. Halo. We have Guardians, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Um, which was, would you say Guardians? Uh, well, Halo 5 Guardians. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sea of Thieves. Uh, Gears, Gears of, of War, War 4 and 5. Uh, Crackdown. Crackdown was a failure. I've never played any of those games. Fa- I don't that, even that was just like no. that one game I that mean, just died as soon as it came out. And then we had, I mean, Forza, right? Forza? Forza? Yeah, but no one gives a shit. I used I mean, to love Forza. I, like, I used to love that game because I used to cool. always buy the little turbo speeds and engines, yeah. but I just stopped playing it. Like, it's cool, but I mean, like, uh, I don't know. That's a, I don't think it's my type of game. Yeah. If it, if, if, like, the only reason I would buy a car game is if you got the whole system and you had the wheel and all that stuff. Yeah, that. And two, if you crash, and see how bad, how fuck up you <laughs> the, the body's on there. You know, you have to get <laughs> a new person what, to go in there. Like, be realistic. If you crash, your person dies, and you have to go. You have to go to get the ambulance, and they have to get them out, and then like, you have to restart your whole exactly, career. Because, like, <laughs> one, one thing I wanted to see is like, because uh, you hit a car, and I want that car to get fucked up. <laughs> That's true. Did they do that? I know Forza. If you hit Forza, a car, it's it like scratches. It's like, it scratches. You get dents, but you, like, I, I always try this in every you know, racing car game? game a racing game I crash it purposely to see where like, the damage comes the from the damage and well, when I look at it I'm like ah. cause that'd be cool like if, you, if you're getting a race and you hit a car and your wheel and fucks up and you're just freaking just well, yeah, that too. fly off like your vehicle would just get annihilated well there was a game like that hmm? which is one of my favorite games Burnout 3 but yeah you just like, like boom like, slow motion Forza it looks I was like fuck it yeah it looks good like it's always gonna look good. Forza is always gonna look good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like every generation of console that's gonna come out, they're always it's gonna look good. They're gonna be at the highest setting and stuff like that. I mean, you have to. I mean, it's it's the re- it's the most realistic game that there is, other than. I mean, there, there's uh, also Gran Torino. 
for the pre for the uh, PlayStation. I always call it I always call it Gran Turismo for some reason. Is it Gran Torino or Gran Turismo? I call, I think it's Turismo, but I call it Torino. I don't care. But well, that, mine that's, was that's Fruits's you know yes. competition. I mean, it's not even close, but yes, it is kind of competition. But and also uh, Need for Speed, but they kind of went off the rails, kind yeah. of like they try to be a Grand Theft. Grand Theft Auto kind of style. They try to be like open world. Too fast, too furious. Yes, they, they exactly. try to be fast and furious. Bring back uh, Midnight, Midnight, Midnight Club, Midnight Club. Midnight Club was a good game. I yeah. love that game. That I was that, that 